the range. Hello, it's Waffles. What is up? In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add and execute a maneuver. So as you can see, we already have our launch vehicle here. We are about 11,000 meters. And I mean 11, 100,000 meters from Kerbin. And we are going to throttle up completely until this stage is about out of fuel. And then we will go into adding the maneuver. So first thing with Adam is the new lure. unless you're a decent amount of distance away from the planet, it's going to be hard to add it. The closer you are to the planet, the more fuel and thrusters need to complete a maneuver because of the stronger gravity. The farther away, the easier it is to burn because there's less gravity, so that means less fuel will be wasted no matter how big your rocket is. So now we are going to separate, and here is our orbital vehicle with a specially modified four-way LVN engine for maximum fuel efficiency and thrust. It's not included in the original game, you need a mod to get that, but it doesn't impede on the principle that I am going to be teaching you, so don't mind that. Alright, so as you can see, we have this really long stick out here. This is your current path. We will go like that, and like that, and splash back down if we don't make any changes during that time. The apolapse is the part of the orbit that is farthest away from the object you are orbiting. If you want to make a maneuver to get in orbit, you usually add the maneuver there. Now when you click left click on it, the menu comes up and it just says add maneuver, click on that, and this appears and a dotted line appears. This is called the maneuver node. You can drag it along a maneuver to change where the position is that you'll be making a maneuver. But you want to keep it at the top of the apolapse if you're going into orbit. And you see these things on there. Those are all on here because those are the directions. If you pull on the prograde, it gets bigger. Pull on the retrograde, it gets smaller. Pull on a normal, it goes up. Pull on anti-normal, goes down, and pull on that one, um, the radial, and it goes to the left. Pull on anti-radial, and it goes to the right. So we're going to close that out by right-clicking on it. And by right-clicking on maneuver, you can also add another maneuver to it, but we'll get to that in another tutorial. Right now, we're just going to be executing one maneuver. As you can see, you need to make sure that you have enough time to execute it. So in about 38 minutes, we will be intersecting the maneuver, which gives us plenty of time to make the maneuver. So let's just pull the prograde out. And if it does that, you can just click on it again. It'll reopen it. And let's center it until the apolapse and palapolapse are like that. Pretty circular orbit there. Okay. Now, as you can see, when we made the maneuver node disappear over here, there's a thousand meters a second. That is how much orbital speed you need to gain in order to make the maneuver. So, when you fire engines to make maneuver, you want to burn until this gets down to here and instantly kill your engines. Because if you go over, it screws everything up. And then this will turn into a green check mark when you can kill your engines or when your maneuver is pretty much complete even if it's not down to zero and it will make the maneuver go away. As you can see the estimated burn is three days because we haven't fired the next stage's engine yet. But let's fire our engine to get a more accurate read on that. So it will take about three minutes at full throttle with this engine to get 1,000 meters a second. Out here you see when you're going to reach your maneuver, which is in 36 minutes. But you don't want to burn right now, because if you burn right now, your maneuver is not going to look like what it does on here. You want to burn at about 
Uh, make it so that you have half of the burn before you reach the maneuver and half of the burn after. So you want to spread it out evenly. That's how you'll get your maneuver to look as close as it can to this. So what about like... T minus one minute and 50 seconds, you would start your burn. So let's fast forward to that. You usually want a quick save before a big maneuver like this. Hold on, if you mess up, you can go back. And let's start. Oh, I forgot to point it towards the maneuver node. That might help. Uh, you want to be pointing towards the maneuver. So on stability argumentation system, you're going to want to click the maneuver node, which, are, which is clickable once you make a maneuver. And as you can see, our orbit is expanding out like it's supposed to. The number is going down. And we will have plenty of fuel to make this maneuver. As you can see, there's 47 seconds in our estimated burn and 40 seconds left until we reach the maneuver. Now you see the parabolops appear. Parabolops is the closest your orbit passes to the object you are orbiting. That appears once your orbit leaves the surface and creates a full range. 200 meters left. As you can see, it is starting to take the shape of the yellow dotted line in the predicted orbit. It won't be exact, but it will be close. And now you kill your engines and click on that. And there you go. You are now in orbit and you have just created and executed your own maneuver. But I recommend if you're going to go into orbit, doing it a little bit closer to the planet. And that's all for this tutorial. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe to this video.